do you know oil and water do not mix water wets us but ducks can easily swim on water without getting wet kerosene rises on wick when a steel needle is placed gently on water it floats even though it is heavier than water insects such as water striders walk on water rain drops are spherical in shape all these and many more such phenomena are based on the property of liquid called surface tension though the volume of a given liquid when poured in different container does not change but it acquires the shape of the container in which it is kept moreover liquid has a free surface when it is poured in a larger container the free surface of liquid possesses energy the free surface of liquid has a behavior similar to elastic membrane we know that when an elastic membrane is stretched it regains its original minimum area or shape after the force is released similarly the liquid tries to keep area of its free surface to the bare minimum this property of liquid is called surface tension laplace's molecular theory of surface tension the elastic behavior of free surface of water plays an important role in many phenomena and has scientific and engineering applications for example the knowledge of surface tension is important in the design of waterproofing agents used in civil engineering similarly the knowledge of surface tension also is useful in design of ink pens before we begin the study of surface tension in detail it is worth knowing the molecular structure of liquids in order to better explain the concept of surface tension let us understand a few more concepts like molecular force adhesive force cohesive force and sphere of influence these are related to the surface tension molecular force every molecule attracts another molecule in a liquid this force of attraction between two molecules is called the molecular force adhesive force the intramolecular force that is force among different types of molecules is called adhesive force for example the force of attraction between glass molecules and water molecules is an adhesive force cohesive force the molecules of liquid which are of the same type exert force of attraction on one another this force is called cohesive force and the last concept a sphere of influence this is the imaginary sphere around a molecule in which force of attraction is influential it is called the sphere of influence of that molecule uh, let us now try to understand the concept of surface tension consider three situations as shown in the figure in the left situation the molecule m1 lies totally inside the liquid in the second situation the molecule m2 lies close to the surface of the liquid and in the third situation the molecule m3 is i mean rather m3 lies on the surface of the liquid in these diagrams the arrows show the force of attraction due to neighboring molecules the dotted circles show the sphere of influence let us now consider the first situation where the molecule lies totally inside the liquid the sphere of influence of m1 is totally inside liquid thus m1 is totally surrounded by neighboring liquid molecules all the neighboring molecules will exert equal amount of force of attraction 
in all directions in a sphere of influence of m1. The vector sum of all these forces of attraction is zero. Thus, the net force acting on the molecule m1 is zero. Now consider the second situation of molecule m2. Some part of sphere of influence of this molecule m2 lies outside the liquid. In such a situation, the molecule m2 is not equally surrounded by other molecules from all sides. The number of molecules below m2 are more in number than the number of molecules above m2. Thus, the vector sum of attractive forces of neighboring molecules will not be zero. Uh, in fact, there will be more force of attraction downward than uh, force of attraction upwards. Therefore, the net force acting on the molecule M2 will be in the downward direction. And lastly, let us consider the situation of molecule M3. Here, the molecule M3 is on the surface of the liquid. The half part of the sphere of influence of M3 lies outside the liquid and another half part lies inside the liquid. The molecule M3 has neighboring molecules inside the liquid, but there are no neighboring liquid molecules on the outside. Hence, the vector sum of attractive forces acting on the molecule is not zero. Uh, in fact, the net force acting on the molecule M3 is in the downward direction. This net force uh, acting downward on molecule M3 is larger than the downward force acting on molecule M2. In summary, resultant force on molecule M1 is zero. The resultant force on molecule M2 is in the downward direction and the resultant force acting on the molecule M3 is also in the downward direction, but it is more in value than the force acting on molecule M2. This observation shows that the molecules which lie on the surface of liquid experience downward resultant force. In other words, the molecules lying on the surface of the liquid are pulled inside by the liquid. In order to balance this downward force, the molecules on the surface of liquid come closer to each other and consequently reduce the surface area of liquid. This shows that there is a downward force of attraction on the liquid surface and it is under constant tension.